Having brought his star ingredients back to our kitchen, Paul can start to create his dish. I'm just going to cut them in half, yeah? Just so everything bite size, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rhett McQueen will like that. I think that, yeah, that's about, you know, that's about a little mouthful, isn't it? Want to try that? Uh huh. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. See, to me, the simple things are the best. She'll uh, like that because she likes simple things, yeah. See, I'm yeah. ahead already, Yay. Richard. Woo I'm ahead already. <laughs> Well, it's good to be confident, but there's a long way to go before the judging on Friday. Hey, young man, how's it going over here? Very, very well. I have to tell you, he's very confident on the other side. Across the table, Richard Corrigan's also doing bite-sized seafood as a starter. He's making smoked salmon with blinis and a herb salad on the side. Wild salmon is just one of those king or emperor of ingredients, natural ingredients. And I just think, you know, it's it's... You don't need to do anything to it, you know? It's just a beautiful, beautiful, simple ingredient. We're going to take out the smoked salmon. Before he makes the blini batter, Richard wants to check the quality of his key ingredient. Mm. Mm. For your salmon, you're obviously going to rely on the best flavour coming from the best supplier, hmm? Yeah. The, the salmon that we have, I think, is the best salmon that you can get anywhere in the world. It's a controversial old issue, salmon, eh? It's a, it's a huge... Farm. Well, you know, it's, it's farming is here. I, you don't necessarily, everyone ha, does not necessarily have to agree with it, but it's here and it's here to stay. I would rather have a beautiful organic piece of fish than take the last salmon out of the river. Maybe it's time we just left them alone for 10 or 20 years and start enjoying a nice piece of organic salmon. <laughs> Richard's salmon supplier is a fishery near the tiny port of Glen Arm, 30 miles from Belfast on the Antrim coast. Good morning, Richard. How are you? Welcome to Glen Arm. Glen Arm salmon is farmed, but crucially for this demanding chef, it retains many of the qualities of wild salmon. So we've been organic here for about four years, five years, but the company's been going since about 1988, 89. I think that the salmon is, is one of the best farm salmon there is about. And that's what Richard's looking for when he's sourcing ingredients for his recently opened seafood restaurant. Adrian Gill in the Sunday Times gave Bentley's five stars. Is that right? And he mentioned the salmon. Is that right? It, oh, was, that's... it was your salmon. Well, that's, that's, that's even better. And so, hope you're going to give it to the Queen as well. Well, let's hope so, anyway. <laughs> Come on. Good accolade. Let's Come on, go. let's go out and see yeah. it, yeah? Yeah. Come on. A strong tidal flow at Glenarm helps to keep the water clean and no chemicals or antibiotics are used on the fish, so it's organic. There's a big demand for it on both sides of the Irish Sea. God, it's a nice fish, huh? Fantastic. And historically, when you looked at a, a farmed fish, there was an awful lot of excess fat on them. That's right. So, you know, wh why is there no, none of this fish here? There's very, very strong tides here and very strong currents, so the fish are so swimming, they... swimming against those tides all the time, so they don't carry any fat at all with them. It just, it just seems a well-rounded fish, and certainly not overfed, unlike myself. <laughs> so it's Richard himself who nets the fish that'll take centre stage in his starter. Look at that. Perfect size. Absolutely perfect size. 